Good news, we have mutants. So last time, if you remember, we did our mutant hunts in two different ways. We had our two broth tubes, and to one of them, remember, we had added streptomycin, and to the other, we had not added any streptomycin. So in the one without streptomycin, we assume that everything grew up and is thriving in there, no matter whether it's a mutant or not. And in the one with the streptomycin, we notice slightly less turbidity um, and recognize that that one only has mutants growing in it. So what we're going to do today is to try to verify that what we have in here is mutants. And we also want to do the same thing with the, the colony plates. So again, we redid the experiment in auger here, and we didn't add any streptomycin to this plate, and you can see how turbid it is. There's growth everywhere. And we added a nice little dye to it called TTC that makes the growth turn a little pink so we can see it. This one is turbid everywhere. There was nothing added to it that would be selective. But notice this one, uh, we're kind of mean. We killed off everything but the mutants. So only these little colonies, and you can see on there, we got some mutant colonies, and remember only one in every 10 million to 10 billion, so those mutants are rare. We can actually count the number of colonies on there and determine the frequency of that particular natural mutation that we've selected for. So again, today with these plates, we want to determine whether we were successful in our mutant hunt. So we're going to try to verify, and in order to verify, I have two new plates. So I've labeled um, this plate, this one has streptomycin in it, and um, on the side, you can see it has a red stripe indicating that it contains streptomycin already. This one is going to be our control plate, which doesn't have any streptomycin in it. And so onto both of these plates, we actually want to streak all four of our samples. So we're going to need four quadrants on each one of the plates. And that's what I've done. I've already labeled these. So I have one that's labeled, one of the quadrants is labeled colony without streptomycin. That means we're going to take from the plate to put on there the one without streptomycin. Um, then we've got one labeled colony plus streptomycin. And that one we're going to put a colony from this plate, from the mutant plate. And then we have two more quadrants, one's labeled broth with streptomycin, and then we'll put that, uh, this sample on there, and then broth without streptomycin, and we'll put this sample there. So that, that part should be pretty easy, and that's where I'm gonna start, is with the broth samples, because all we'll need to do is dip a loop in here and just streak it right on here, so it should be pretty easy to do that. So let's start with that, so we'll get things kicking with our Bunsen burner and get everything sterile. And it's easy enough just to grab our broth without streptomycin. Go ahead and flame it out. So we'll pick up some cells from this tube. And onto both plates, we're gonna streak into the quadrant that's labeled um, broth without streptomycin. So we'll find that quadrant and go ahead and streak just a nice squiggly in that area. Now in theory that shouldn't grow on this plate containing streptomycin because there was no selection for mutants there. Um, we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing onto our negative control plate. So again, finding the same quadrant that says broth without streptomycin, streaking that same sample there. Okay, so we're a quarter of the way done. We'll now do the plus streptomycin sample, hoping that we've found some mutants in here and that we can confirm those mutants on our plus streptomycin plate. So again, we'll go ahead and take a sample from this tube. And streak into the quadrant labeled broth plus streptomycin on both plates. Okay. 
halfway there, right? We've got our broth plus streptomycin, broth without streptomycin on both of those plates. But the trouble comes now because it would be nice to be able to just pick up a colony out of these plates and put it onto our confirming plates, but we can't do that because remember the colonies are inside of the auger rather than being on top of the auger. So we're going to have to get creative to get them out of there. So we're going to use a pasture pipette. We've got sterile pasture pipettes in here. And go ahead and put a bulb onto your pasture pipette. Get a nice seal on there. And then what you'll do is push the air out of that bulb and um, find your favorite mutant colony. Um, and so let's start with our plus streptomycin plate and just identify the mutant colony that we want to take. So I'm going to go ahead and put my um, bulb around, or my pasture pipette around the colony with the bowl pressed out so the air is pushed out of there. Um, so we'll grab, I've got a tiny mutant colony in mind here that I'm going to grab. So I'm going to try to get my pipette around that mutant. And then turn and, and we just sucked up the mutant into the pipette. And you can see it in there, actually. Um, so now we're going to need to get it out of the auger and into solution. So in order to do that, I've got some sterile saline, and we're just going to suck up a little bit of sterile saline into the pipette and wash that um, little plug of auger out of there and into the sterile saline. And then the bacteria should get washed into the saline. The auger will never quite go into solution, um, but the bacteria will. So we'll just suck up a little bit of saline first into the pipette and then swoosh, push that bulb or that plug of um, auger out and we can mix it around a bit and all the bacteria in that plug, the mutants, are going to come into solution. All right. Great. Now we're going to repeat that step again, but using any plug of auger that you would like out of the minus streptomycin plate. I'm not going to go through that step, but you would do the exact same thing and you could take a plug of auger from anywhere on this plate. It doesn't have to be around a colony because of course there is no isolated colony. So just anywhere. And then you'll have a sterile saline that contains both of those. So from here, um, this can actually go into the glass discard, um, so we'll do that. And now we're ready to take a loop full of the sterile saline with the suspected mutant in it, and that's going to get streaked onto the third quadrant of the plate. And then of course the fourth quadrant would be your saline with the plug from the minus streptomycin plate. So we'll just go ahead and take a dip there. So find your quadrant that's labeled colony plus streptomycin, and we'll streak on there. And we'll repeat that one more time on the other plate. And once again, streaking out of that colony plus streptomycin quadrant. Sweet. So the last step will be to repeat that with a, with a plug of auger out of this plate into another tube of sterile saline and finally finish off your plates with the last quadrant.